Welcome back everyone to another episode of Surviving Mars. We are on Sol 56, we've just landed our rocket over here. Um, in the previous episode we got our research points uh, up to 700. It was 300 before, the one of the big, big missions that used up 100 electronics. So that was quite a, quite a big milestone for us to be honest. And then, then yeah, in this episode we're we're kind of just uh, going through the, the research tab over here. Once we get the money, we'll um, try and focus on getting getting some more fuel being produced. And um, yeah, hopefully, hoping to find some more. What is it? The breakthroughs as well. Let's see. Actually, was there a mission? That gave us breakthrough that doesn't require people. I thought it was. Research progress, new technologies. Okay, so we can we'll save this one. Transport or explorer. Let's send you. Yeah, let's do that. Then hopefully we reveal some more technologies in the physics tab over here as well. Let's speed it up. Yep, yeah, we're on the fastest speed possible. And can we queue up? No, we cannot. Again, saving those uh, research anomalies once we find something that we are more interested in i think once we get the money i might just bring some more electronics i think with polymers we are okay might even bring some more machine parts as well maybe we should do it now thing is prices might go up yeah i think we'll take 20 electronics and five machine parts because electronics are useful when we want to construct some of this stuff that we already um, have access to whereas machine parts we do need them to maintain and right now it's cheaper yeah let's bring an extra supply pod that was our last one well last one that was for free yeah, next one's gonna cost us. Ooh. Uh, that was very close. Have you mined all the resources already? Sector scan. I think Anomaly yes. Anomaly found. Oh. Hmm. We just sent him away, didn't we? Not yet. Scan it. Maybe he'll do it before the rocket goes. No. He's not gonna... Uh, no. Can we not fuel you? Oh, okay, so it's gonna wait until the rover is done. That's okay, I just wanna scan that first. Well, in a way... Yeah, it doesn't really matter which I do first. Well, that's fine. We've sent him out. And I think... By the time he's done, I think he'll just magically teleport to the rocket once he's free. Well, we'll see. Anyways, seems the supply pod has has land reached the Mars. Now we're just gonna land him over here. And we'll take all the resources and we will also salvage you to get five. Five metals. There's some metals here as well. 38. And some more in here. Almost done on this. And you are done. So let's send you over here. Perfect. You can get both of them. And bring it back here. Uh, 
Anomaly cases. analyzed. There's more to the barren environs of the red planet than meets. Right, so we finally found the one we were initially looking for, the Martian patent. So that's going to give us 500 million. And the other one we revealed is the atomic accumulators. Definitely very, very handy. Although it costs polymers. Um, <laughs> well, they both do. And this one just takes less on maintenance. Yeah, definitely worth getting in the atomic accumulator research because that takes two for maintenance. This takes one, but the capacity that they have is far greater than having and two accumulators. So once we do research it, we will... Uh, yeah, bummer. Research complete. Alright, you guys. Uh, this way. I need to repair him. Research complete. Now I had to queue... This first. Yep. There we go. So that gives us access to the new what was it fuel refinery. So we can actually build them. Build them ourselves. Uh, where are you? Uh, it's quite far from us. Right, so when it malfunctions, we are no longer receiving the 100 RP. Oh yeah, it, <laughs> I was I was thinking for a second, what just happened? Did I, did I somehow salvage it or... But no, it, we were right, it teleported to the rocket, rocket's on its way. Five more hours, so that's gonna be a quick mission for us. Sector scanned. Oh, some metals. Five, but only 393, so that's not a lot. Um, but hey, that's like, what is it? 13 trips to Earth. And look at the price of rare metals. Quite a bit of money. Anomaly analyzed. There's more to the barren environs of the Red Planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. Nice. So with this one, we got access to another six. We got magnetic filtering, a sustainable architecture, factory amplifications. No, that's not the one we wanted. Automated storage, general training, interplanetary projects. So... Right, we got this one here. A Moxie upgrade. We got less maintenance. Storage. Okay, so we got one in the physics, so that's good. Not looking for this research, but I'm happy if we uh, open this tree up a little bit more. Uh, okay, right. Good. Nothing mm, in there that we really need to research right now. But... Um, yeah. At least he revealed some of the following... Some of the research over there. Now, I was thinking to amplify this the cost of two polymers machine parts more expensive yeah we didn't want to do this all right rocket is back almost have enough fuel now i have a feeling i may want to boost this thousand five hundred no it should be fine 
but the quicker we can build another fuel refinery, the quicker we can have more fuel to go on more missions, since we are using up a lot of it. One, two. Yeah. I think we might. Yeah, let's do that. We are going to need more fuel. The fuel is currently the bottleneck that we haven't. Oh, hello there. Where are you? Okay, you got th through. I do not know how, but you managed to make it. That is good. Right, so there was something I wanted to test out, and that was if we were to spam these. Is that gonna stop the um, uneven terrain? Let's flatten it a little bit. Um, is that gonna protect us essentially from the... Um, those dust devils? Or not. So let's try this out. I mean, if it does work, it's both silly and unrealistic, but at this difficulty. Um, I mean, we're not really struggling with the resources right now. We're able to research complete anomaly keep ourselves analyzed. afloat. Let's come back. However, just reducing the chance of having to use those resources is, is quite, uh, it's quite scanned. rewarding. Right, so... Oh, wait. I think we got two. Sectors can now be... Let's go for this next. In fact, we will bring this first. Because whilst we're scanning, we could already save some time on this. Yeah. Let's do this. Uh, okay, good. 120. Are we loaded up now? 60. Perfect. So... I think the next very useful thing for us will be... Let's call some meteors down. Um, reason for doing that is, well, it's good, two benefits. One, we are gonna get more resources that we can, we can pick up, especially when it comes to metals, because the only way we are getting metals right now is literally just sending the transport uh, rover out. And the second thing is, um, second thing is, the second reason for it is, there is a chance it will also spawn some um, anomalies for us which again will be much needed since right now we only have one spare one over here so yeah let's do that we'll call the meteors where are you going i still doing that route over there cool it's almost done i think the next one we should be good He's coming up. And we're actually almost full. And that is not a problem at all. We will just let's put down an extra one here. Uh wait. We wanna build I almost forgot. We want to build a fuel refinery here. That is going to increase our uh, maintenance on the was it machine parts. Well, we've got 24 uh, in the bank right now and uh, not too worried about it. We've got money, we can order some more. What we are worried about though is the low supply of, of fuel. Since we do have quite a few missions we would we can do, can't do all of them, 
do a couple of them. And we definitely want to do that. Another thing, I think we'll have to move the Throne Commander closer to here very soon. Put a couple more storages. That's not the Commander. He is. So we'll put him in the range of uh, these platforms so they can get constructed. Nice, we got a second fuel refinery running, which means our water production is not very good right now. This means... Um, I think we'll have the uh, Vaporators upgrade queued up there as well. I would like to have some more more water being produced. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think we'll, after deep scanning is done, we'll bump it up to first. It's only 1,500 RP, so uh, it should be fairly quick. Two, two souls, roughly. Sector scanned. Ooh. There's a lot of resources here. Where are you? You're going back. You know what? Don't go back just yet. Come and pick up everything from here. And bring it here. Perfect. Definitely want to get, uh, get my hands on those nine polymers there as well. Uh, how much fuel? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose we cold should wave have approaching. Have a cold wave. Okay, power production wise. I might have to turn off the amplification so we could keep yeah we'll turn off the amplification so then we can keep to running I mean alternatively I could get extra five power that's gonna give us keep us in the positive during daytime if I construct the, one of the solar panels To be honest, I don't really want to use up any metals right now. Wait, no, I do. Because this takes machine parts to maintain it. And it's best to keep this working over time. So, yeah, this is a perfect spot for, for this over here. Let's see, maybe this is better. Now, I don't know if this is gonna get affected, if only one third is in the radius or not. Maybe it has to be at least half, or well, two thirds in this case, so we'll put it here. So now we got seven. Ah oh, no, we're still not gonna have the power because this is gonna consume uh, eleven. So we need one more here. We need. Don't do this one. So if we need eleven, now we're producing twelve. That's during daytime. We do have two hundred in the bank. We might just survive the night, but thanks to the accumulator over here. And daytime... No, we're not gonna have enough. Well, let's see. I think we may just have to... ...build this anyways. Will you bring us 30 metal? Yeah. Are you almost done? Kind of. 
Oh, and we also have three of those, so we are, oh, well, hopefully somewhat protected from this side now. Sector um, scanned. The Anomaly dust found. Devils. Let's have a look. Yes, nice. Another research. So we got two saved up over here. It's a lonely meteor over there. All right. Now let's see, do we want to expand? Yeah. Let's cheese this a little bit. Let's see how that goes. I mean, we've got the, got the spare concrete. I think we do have to position ourselves. Yeah, now we should be able to reach everything. 58, and it should be launching very soon now. Let's increase the priority. Seems he really wants to focus on the middles first. That's okay, we don't need those polymers desperately right now. So yeah, we can bring all of them all the way in 12 hours. Okay, maybe I should turn this on. No, I don't want to drain my power accumulator. Right, so this is going to arrive at night time, is it? I have a strong feeling I still have to construct this one as well. Yeah, very strong feeling about this. Okay, six hours. Let's not forget to turn this on. Maybe when it gets to about... Uh, two hours. There goes our rocket. We are gonna bring some more meteors down which actually reminds me, it might not be very smart to send a transport out anymore. Alright, here we go. Oh, High priority, repair this now. Ah, oh, that means we are gonna waste one metal. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. I mean, we've got the metals. But everything else is gonna turn off as well until this goes on. Just for a second, can we please repair this? Nice. Not enough power. No, we do have enough. Alright, now we don't have enough water. Hmm. Oh, that's okay, we have this extra bank over here. But I'm thinking we are going to need another one. Because remember, last time we had the cold wave, that water Sector tower scan. was just about enough for one field refinery. Now we are going to uh, go through our reserves much quicker, since we have two refineries running. Let's turn this on as well. Let's see what happens. Right, another sector with some water. Hmm, it would be nice if we had some water nearby. But so far, there is literally no water in, in our starting location. I have this couple over here. There's one over here. Two down here as well. Yeah. So minus nine, is that gonna get us through the night? I think it will. However, are we gonna be able to charge 
our battery is enough Resources during daytime. Are low. Don't think so. Plus, this gold wave is for five souls. I think it will be smarter to have this. So, yeah, during night time, we we're using up about 60 power in our reserves. However, I don't. Yeah, with. No, we used more. We used 71. And with one solar panel, we wouldn't. I don't think we would have been able to. Um, build up enough power. Um, yeah, cause remember, our priority, we have two priorities right now. Is to keep the uh, one is to keep the fuel refineries refin running. So in one night we used uh, twenty five. Uh, that, no, that's uh, wasn't just a night. It's daytime as well. We're decreasing uh, twenty four seven right now. Um, but yeah, number one, keep our fuel refineries running, and number two is to keep this unamplified. Because the quicker we get through this over here, the less machine parts we'll have to use to um, maintain the extractor. Alright, so this is nice. That's actually... Yeah, we'll be able to fully charge our battery in the daytime. If we had only... If we didn't build the solar panel, we wouldn't be able to fully charge this. Uh, so that we were right about. Now, next thing, we need to increase our water production. Fortunately, the next research is almost done, which means we can focus on uh, increasing the performance of our vaporators. Ah, oh, that is so close. I was hoping we could get that research before this sector is scanned, but that's okay. Right, so our mission Sector is scanned. almost done. That means we are going to get a meteor shower uh, somewhere on the map again. Now, if, I'm, uh, if my prediction is right, it's most likely going to be in this area or this area here. I haven't seen so far yet that the meteors would come somewhere up here. So, so far in the past 66 souls that we've had, uh, it's been in, in the lower section of the map. And if that's true, I think we are not going to send the rover out here as once we have that mission done. Right, so our water reserves are not going to last us the whole cold wave. Um, that's okay. Bigger storage tank would be nice, but I don't think we need it. Uh, no, that wasn't the research. Capture meteors. Okay, so this is done. Deep scanning is done. Nice. So, let's put the this upgrade first. Hmm. No, we don't need this. So it's gotta be somewhere, somewhere there. We'll queue up the Sterling as well. Actually, I don't think we're going to need to build any sterling generators. Because with this, once we get to fusion power, we can also research the eternal fusion over here. Which is going to give us a lot of power. Without the need for workers. And that actually might be more... Less resource... Um, I mean, more resource efficient. 
the sterlings right now as they are I'm keeping them closed it gives us 12.5 power whereas the fusion reactor I think it was about 100 or 200 power if not more plus if it's at a 150% performance it should be even more and the resources we need to construct one of those I can't check it right now I think it's gonna work out better than building a whole bunch of yeah it must be better than building a whole, whole bunch of uh, fusion reactors so meteor storm in 1.6 where are you so I think you can do this run and then as I say this I noticed the little dust devil over there you know what let's just bring you back yeah Okay, so Cold Wave is going to last us three more, pretty much three more souls. And then before it ends, we're also going to get the Meteor Storm. And there's another Dust Devil over here. Yeah, definitely quite busy on, on planet Mars over here. But we are slowly but surely making this uh, work out for us. Um, now again, we've just reached the 30 minute mark roughly, I believe, uh, which is a good time to call it an episode. And thank you very much for joining this time. I hope you see you see you again in the in the next one.